Well, Scotty Steam Cat Dyson <laughs> still sitting with our steamy cat in the form of Hosanna. He's busy grooming himself. Like I said, as soon as they get wet like this, they hate it. So they'll try and get themselves nice and clean again, get rid of all the water, make sure that the paws are all cleaned off, make sure the coat is in good condition. Cats don't like to be wet. And we were talking about earlier, do they like to swim or can they swim? So the answer was right there. As soon as he fell in the water, out, back towards the bank and then he can just kind of groom himself out and get rid of any of that water that's actually on him and you see it when they walk through wet grasses or they often shake their paws off trying to get drops of water off them so not a huge fan at all the, the hippo mom and the baby have drifted away a little bit so I don't think he's gonna hunt them anymore I think he's just gonna start resting for a while you might find that anything else that comes around here he might start chasing but I think the hippo hunting is finished for the evening <laughs> so Tula Ann who's five years old, Tula Ann don't worry, I promise that Hosanna won't get hurt. He's, as much as he's going to be trying to chase that hippo, I think he's realized that mommy hippo is just too big and strong and that him going there is not going to be a good idea. So uh, don't worry, Hosanna is going to be okay. He'll be very, very fast and very agile and he'll be able to get away from that hippo. So if the hippo charges him, I can't really get in the way because the hippo, unfortunately, to land will probably eat me. And I must be honest, I like to be alive and I like being out here and I, hopefully you like to see me on the screen because if I I move or well, if I get in between them I might not be able to be on the screen anymore and show you all these wonderful things and Hosanna he's quick and fast he'll be able to go up into a tree away from the hippo so everything will be okay don't worry Tulan everything is fine and I want to know Tulan how was your Halloween did you have fun and how was your costumes did everyone like the fact that you were dressed as Hosanna because I remember yesterday you were dressed as Hosanna and that your brother Tucker went as Tandy so you need to tell me how it all went and if everybody liked your costumes I'm sure they did and I'm sure you looked wonderful so very good that you at least dressed up and, and I'm glad that you dressed up as leopard and I'm glad that we can show you your favorite leopard I think this is your favorite leopard if I remember correctly today so but look how he spreads his toes as well just to get in between I'm sure there's bits of algae and all kinds of nonsense that got in between his toes once he fell in so just trying to get rid of all of that but otherwise he looks great he's looking in really good condition what surprises me is just how he got here because we've checked around the southern boundary a lot we've tracked his tracks all around Mulawati and he was seen a few nights ago and no tracks then crossing south but somehow he's managed to get to Chitwa without anybody really picking up on anything he must have crossed in an area where there was really quite hard soil and he's ended up now behind the dam wall it's amazing though that it's been Tumba two days ago Hosanna now and we've got a situation where we've got two male leopards vying for the same area all the time. It seems as though the two of them really are enjoying this particular section. And at some stage, there's going to be some sort of competition. They keep following each other around, though. We've had them together at Twin Dams. We've had them together in the Mulawati. They keep kind of being seen together on Little Gauri. And now, even at Chitwa, they're kind of hanging around the same section. In fact, we've even seen them at Chitwa together. So at some point, there's going to be a little altercation between the two of them. And they're going to have to set some boundaries. But wouldn't it be epic if they formed the first male coalition? That would be quite fun. I reckon the two of them would be absolute beasts and be the perfect two males to be a coalition. I think they would be wonderful together. Of course, it's not going to happen, but I was just saying, I think it would be a really cool thing to see. The nice thing for Hosanna, though, where he is now, is that he's definitely going to have an opportunity to hunt quite a lot around Chitwa Dam. There's a lot that comes down here at night, particularly in this back section, a lot of Nyala, Bushbuck and Kudu. And so he's going to have really good opportunities to hunt and even things like Egyptian geese. So I wonder if, I hope also that he stays away from our little plubbers and doesn't go towards them because we don't want them to disappear. Right. Hosanna, he's going to groom, he's going to carry on. Hopefully he'll settle down and not go after this little baby hippo once again. And so while we watch him grooming himself and checking out the hippo and hopefully moving on from this area, let's go back across to Taylor Mack, who I wonder where she's off to and what she's busy doing. I know she's had a lion-filled afternoon, and I wonder if there's any more treats for her on her way home. <laughs> 